Hi friends, in the previous session we have seen the how hash function or hashing will help us in obtaining uh, our uh, task done in constant time in spite of having a finite memory. Yeah, that's a hash function we used and uh, later we realize that uh, so we have here 19 slots so we have a memory of 19 cells so whatever uh, value you want to store so we just uh, take the value for the index as uh, so the key value mod 19 so that uh, whatever key value whatever we get we should get index between 0 and 18 only cannot be beyond 18 so the best way of doing that is mod operation okay now uh, we have seen uh, in our past example that uh, 20 was uh, included so 20 mod 19 is 1 so it goes to position 1 then 30 was included 30 mod 19 is 11 so it takes uh, position 11 then we had 40 40 mod 19 is uh, 2 so we try to add 39 later so when you try to add 39 then we get 39 mod 19 which is uh, 1 and we find that 1 is already occupied so I cannot write 39 at this place then what to do how to solve the problem and still have the benefits of hashing so there are basically two ways of working the first one is called chaining and the second one is called probing chaining is simply uh, adding uh, a linked list to every cell so that uh, this 39 can be added to the same index 1 the only thing is that is added after 20 in another node uh, through chaining we can add that whereas probing is another concept which uh, basically is done in three ways it can be either a linear probing or it can be a quadratic probing or it can be a double hashing so overall there are many ways of solving this problem each one has its own advantages, its own disadvantages. Pros, pros and cons are part of life. Nothing comes with only positive part. So there will be a negative part attached to it. So look at uh, each one of them. Find their pros and cons and see how the cons can be addressed by any other versions and so on. So let's continue detailed discussions of this in our coming session so keep waiting thank you